hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue the registration video for the checking of email already exist or not okay so for the admin panel only we are going to continue so guys till now our part 29 has been completed for the departments and all but uh, now we are going to continue with the admin profile so when i click on this and add admin profile that means we are registering admin so i want to check email exist or not in this okay so if we give save if that admin is already taken for example this id with at gmail.com is already there in database then it should show us an error called email already taken okay so that kind so there is a simple thing there are two ways we can do so one is the common php one to check the condition and display the message or else you can use the ajax one to display it over here directly okay so we will continue in both so first step i will get back with the php thing so guys let's get go to this form that is register.php or when we click on admin profile so let's go to code this is our admin folder okay and register.php file yes so it's available here save it and now this is the email okay so name email when i click register button so i'm going to copy this copy and i'm going to code.php file so let's go to code.php file and give control f and search for your button okay so this is our button and this is the code guys okay so this is just to insert the code okay and checking the password is confirm password things okay so now i just want to before inserting the data into database i want to check the email is already there or not okay so as per that we will get started with it so it's a simple thing we have to use a select statement so let's uh, build a simple email query is equal to select star from your table name register so where is that table name here register it's correct okay let me close this again register where email okay not id so let's go to our admin panel so that admin panel register table so inside register table we will find the email okay so this email now let us type over here email email is equal to single quotes and inside that we are going to take this dollar email which is coming from over there okay so dollar email paste it over here simple so this email is from that register button and input tag okay so let us get back and let's run this query so let's tell email query run is equal to mysqli mysql i query where you are going going to give your dollar connection your database connection and the dollar email query okay done and now we will this condition will run so after running this condition i want to check the email exist or not so we can directly do an if statement so if um we can check with the mysql i number rows okay mysql i numbers num rows okay num rows where you are going to paste your 
is less than or greater than 0 ok. Open the curly braces else again open curly braces and tell this right. Let us move this front control x and paste it over here ok. So, now here you are going to paste that the statement right. So, let us click on this and we will copy this and paste back here and we will tell here email already taken please try another one ok. So, let us save this and now let us try to execute and check the output for it ok. So, guys now let us save this and get back control R and let us hit enter reload the page. So, I am going to register with the same email id and let us see ok. So, I am going to type with with at gmail dot com 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 ok. So, I this email id already taken. So, let us save this save and email already taken please try another one ok guys. So, the code has been run that by this message. So, guys it is like again entering and entering you are trying with this right. So, now what we will do we will do in ajax. So, we can uh, get the message over here itself ok. So, using jquery ajax we will get that. So, guys first step is completed now how to check in php and now we will continue using ajax one right. So, guys let us get back. So, now um, let us get back to register page. Let us type on simple thing small tag html tag where I will give a class tell error email ok email and we will give one style attribute where I will change the color to red ok and let us give a class for this email one. So, I am going to give one class called check email ok. So, check email I am giving this. So, guys let us copy this and uh, we have to create one js file to code it ok. So, till now if you want you can do the coding in script tag over here, but we will include the js file that is the procedure way procedural way. So, let so guys we will continue with it. So, yes. So, now in admin folder js we have to create one custom dot js file ok. So, I have created that and left it. Now, what you have to do see here in your footer you have included the script dot php file. So, I am going to open that. So, inside includes folder script dot php file over there I have called that js ok. So, inside js folder custom dot js I have called over here ok. So, this path is calling the custom js file ok. Whatever you write over here it goes to script and whatever script is given into this it goes to register page at the bottom clear. <coughs> so, guys let us get started with this simple thing. So, let us type that. So, you can download the extension from this vs code editor. So, you will get this ready made ok. So, you can just download your extension. So, here is jquery thing and now let us guys what I am going to do is that um, let us tell um, ok. So, when you change on this. So, I just want to tell like whatever we type each letter we type that is called key up in jquery or ajax ok. So, this is key up function now again if you want each letter to be executed. So, that is called jq key up ok. 
so let us hit enter and the selector inside the selector i am going to call my class value of the register button so where is my register page okay so this is the checking email so i'm going to copy this copy and go to your custom.js and paste it okay it's a class it's a class means you have to use dot if you are using id you have to use hash so guys when i type anything over there let us alert one function uh, use let us use hello i'm working okay so save this and let us execute control r add profile and let us see yes hello i'm working each time you type over there the message comes over here okay so guys now let's get back close and yeah guys so first step we want to take the value from this so let us just take the value from this only so copy this class and get the value jq get get val or jq val yes so you will get and you can call the class directly and let's store this value in a variable called email email is equal to so i'm storing this email id value into this var let's execute echo this okay so i'm going to cut this paste over here and let us call this email thing and see whether it's the value is coming or not email done so let us get back load control r add and let's see ved ved so okay three have come v w v e and i'm going to add one more d it's coming v e d ved cool it's working so guys let's get back and uh, yes so now we are going to work with the ajax coding part so guys let's call ajax jq ajax okay so simple and now method type will be post and url will be code.php file and data we are going to put is that the things what we required okay so code.php and uh, one data we will give as check submit button okay if this is okay or not now next value we will take that is email id colon that is called your variable dollar email save this done and data type we don't require just remove this so response will be whatever the response we are getting we will give a alert okay so we can view the data over there inside that so let's go to code.php file and uh, yes guys so let us go this code.php and this is our register function so before that only i am going to check one so guys first we will check it is set or not okay so if is set dollar underscore post of your button name that you have given true that is one so check button submit so i click and paste it over here and then dollar email is equal to dollar underscore post of your email id that you have given over here copy this and paste it over here done so now what you are going to do is that we will just copy the same thing okay so we don't need to waste time over there copy this and paste it done so i'm going to call this email and email execute it row and then instead of this we will give echo that email already taken please or you can tell email already exists exists 
please try another okay and same way you can tell for this also paste it there and you can give a message over here it's like it's available okay and uh, let us execute this guys and uh, yes so control r add profile and let us see so i'm going to type ved ved so it's coming in ved okay so let me close that alert one so is that alert not email you have to give the response one so copy that and paste the response right so whatever the response you are getting from their echo you will have to paste that so guys let me load the page again now we will call ved it's available it is showing okay so now what i want i just want to display it below the error should be displayed below over here okay so guys let's get back and let's go to register and i have given error email so copy this okay and get back over here and tell hmm, you can use jquery text well okay text so you can paste over there now inside this i have displayed in a class so we will use the class and whatever the text is that you are getting from the response you can copy this response and paste over here so whatever the text comes in and it goes to over here okay so let us close this alert and let's view this error output done so let's get back to the code okay let's reload the page click on admin and let's see ved ved okay it's available it is showing ved at gmail dot com email already exists please try another okay so guys you can just change any other letter and email already exists this also so you can see here ved pra and ved om so these three emails are existing so now if you check with another it's available it's showing the error okay so when you click on save you will get the um validation that is already which is we have done in the code at while registering the button okay at the beginning we have done it okay guys so now simple thing as well this is for adding the data when you are going to edit the data that time also make sure you apply the condition